Good morning, Bobcats, and happy, happy Friday to all of you. Please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance with us this morning. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated, Bobcats. Thank you for joining me. Today is Friday, September the 18th, and it is Special Area Day 2. It's Special Area Day 2. Here's a look at our weather forecast for this fabulous Friday and the weekend ahead. After a very rainy week we have had, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today with a high of 87 and a low of 70. We're going to have partly sunny skies all day today, so maybe it'll dry out uh, some of those mud puddles that we've gotten this week. And it looks like we'll have just kind of partly cloudy skies all weekend, um, but nothing major or too exciting. The exciting thing is that we are going to have some cooler weather rolling in next week in the morning. So we should be seeing 60s in the morning with the um, highs in the 70s. It's going to be a perfect weekend to get out and enjoy doing something with your family, whether it is walking the trails, whether it's bike riding, whether it's going out on a boat, whether it's jumping on a trampoline or playing in your backyard. It will be a perfect weekend for that, and I hope you find time to do that, all of you. We want to wish these Bobcats a very, very happy birthday today. We've got a lot of them, I have to say. Cookie does very excited. Now, Harper Hughes and Sinclair Mildenberger, both in first grade, are celebrating their birthdays today. Girls, we hope you have a wonderful, fabulously fun first grade birthday. Tomorrow is a very big Bobcat birthday. Maribel in second grade, Dia in third grade, Cannon in second grade, and Austin in second grade will all be celebrating their birthdays tomorrow. Now, on Sunday, Mary Alice in first grade and Olivia Wright in fourth grade will be celebrating their birthday. So it's a big, big, big birthday weekend around here, isn't it? And today we want to wish our very special Miss Dana Parrott, kindergarten teacher extraordinaire, a very happy birthday. And Mr. Cedric Smith, our favorite head custodian, crossing guard, just takes care of all of us in so many ways. And we want to wish him a very happy birthday this weekend. If you see Miss Parrott or Mr. Cedric today, please give them a wave, blow them a kiss, say happy birthday, and let them know that we hope they have the very best birthday ever. You know, Cookie Dough's been in charge of jokes this week, and here's a few more to tickle your funny bone. What did the dog say when he sat on rough? Oh, excuse me. Oh, I almost messed it up. I'm not good at telling jokes normally, but I messed that one up. What did the dog say when he sat on some sandpaper? He said, that's rough. Messed that one up, guys. Sorry about that. What's a dog's favorite instrument? What is a dog's favorite instrument? This is for Miss Hartsfield, our music teacher. A dog's favorite instrument is a trombone. You get it, a trombone. He is like just tickled over himself. And what did the hungry Dalmatian say after his meal? So after he ate, what did the Dalmatian say? That hits the spot. You got it. Like if you're really hungry or you're really craving something and you eat it and you say, that hit the spot. Speaking of eating, let's check out what's cooking today in the Buck Lake cafeteria. Here's the menu for today. Our cafeteria staff will be serving turkey, ham and cheese, any timer, baby carrots. I have baby carrots today for lunch, corn, and assorted fruit. You get your choice of, you know, white chocolate or strawberry milk as well. Thank you to all of our Bobcats who are using their nice manners with our 
cafeteria helpers, as well as they are cleaning their areas. Uh, we are proud of you. We want to welcome in Miss Mullinax, one of our amazing guidance counselors. I should say one of our terrific guidance counselors for our very first terrific kid of the year. Let's see. Good morning, Bobcats. I'm Mrs. Mullinax, and I am here with our first round of Terrific Kids. Now, Terrific Kids is something we will have every week, and teachers or classmates can nominate someone to be the Terrific Kid, and we'll read those wonderful things about you on the news, and then following the news, there'll be a video with your picture in it. So let's get started. Our first terrific kid today is Jameer Brown from Mrs. Huggins' room, and this says that Jameer is our first terrific kid this year. He is a fantastic listener and a very sweet friend. Jameer is always ready to help and learn. Keep up the great work, Jameer. Fantastic. All right, our next terrific kid today is J.J. DeLillo, and he is in Mrs. Kerner's room. And this says that J.J. is a new Bobcat and our first student of the week. He has been a hard worker, made new friends, and a big helper. Looking forward to a great school year. All right, J.J., wonderful work. Keep it up, buddy. All right, up next we have Savannah Andrews, and she is in Mrs. Oschlager's class. And this says that Savannah Andrews is our terrific kid this week because she always does her very best work. It is always neat and always beautiful, too. Great job, Savannah. Next, we have Willow Walker, and she's in Miss Convertini's room. And this says Willow was chosen as our very first terrific kid because she's the perfect example of what a kind friend looks like, and she's always helping others. And it says she's the perfect example of what it means to be terrific. We are so happy to have her in our class this year. Keep up the great work, Willow. All right, next up, we have Kenzie Fox, and she is in Mrs. Threadgill's room. And this says that Kenzie is a sweet girl with smiley eyes. She works hard and is a good friend to all. And I know Kenzie. She is very smiley all the time. Keep up the great work, Kenzie. All right, up next, we have... Maya Figures, and Maya is in Mrs. McDermott's room, and this says that Maya has been a hard worker and a good listener. She always does her best. Keep it up, Maya. Fantastic. All right, next we have Ben Sykes, and he is in Mrs. Braswell's class, and this says that Ben works hard every day at school. He is a good friend to his classmates, and Ben is terrific. Great job, Ben. Next, we have Meryl Simmons, and she's in Mrs. McLeod's class, and this says that Meryl is an A-plus student. She follows our classroom rules, and she is such a good helper. I know Mrs. McLeod appreciates that, Meryl. Great job. All right, next we have Lilia Herrera, and she is in Ms. Brittle's room, and this says Lilia is our first terrific kid. Lily was chosen because of her perfect behavior. She has a cheery smile and is an extremely hard worker. We are so proud of her, and we appreciate her sweetness. Way to go, Lilia. Great job. All right, next we have Elise Eichland, and she is in Mrs. Damron's room. And this says that Elise is a truly terrific kid. She is a hard worker who always does her best. And it says Elise is a model student who always listens, follows directions, and completes her work. Great way to start the year, Elise. Good job. Next, we have Lillian Winters from Mrs. Derricky's class, and this says that Lily works very hard and is a model student. She always participates in class, and she helps a friend when needed. She is a terrific kid. Great job. All right, next we have Ruby McLean, and she is in Mrs. Schmidt's room, and this says our class voted for Ruby as our first terrific kid because she is kind, she's hardworking, and she follows the rules. Great job, Ruby. Next, we have Brooke Barrett, and she is in Mrs. Vick's class. And this says, Brooke is a friend to everyone and is always willing to help others. Great job, Brooke. Next, we have Tyson Thorpe, and he's in Ms. Lindsay's class. And this says, Tyson brings such a positive energy to our class family. He shows kindness to everyone and values building connections. We are so grateful to have him with us. 
Great job, Tyson. Keep it up. Next, we have Caleb Moore, and he's in Mrs. Wells' class. And this says, Caleb is our first terrific kid because he uses his manners and he's respectful to his classmates and teacher. He completes his work and puts forth his best effort. Caleb also has awesome style and dance moves. Very good. Fantastic work, Caleb. Keep it up. All right, next we have Lily Watson, and she's in Mrs. Craven's room. And this says that Lily is an extremely well-behaved and respectful student. She was chosen to be the terrific kid this week because she goes above and beyond to be kind to other students, even when no one is looking. How special is that? Great job, Lily. And our last terrific kid today is Sherrick Williams, and he is in Mrs. Doherty's room. And this says that Sherrick is starting fifth grade on the right foot, participating in class, working with friends to complete activities, and doing his work with his best effort. Keep it up, Sherrick. All right, wonderful. All right, those are our terrific kids for the week. What wonderful things they've all done, and what a great way to start off the year. Bobcat, stay tuned for a look at our terrific kids this week, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you, Ms. Mullinax. What a great group of terrific kids for our very first time. It was so great to see not only our friends who are here at the school, but our Digital Academy friends who are at home showing terrific kid behavior. We're proud of every one of you, and it was so great to see your smiling faces. Cookie has been helping me this week advertising some of our new masks, and Monday, that is Monday, is the very last day that you can order from our amazing School Spirit store right now. So make sure this weekend, take your parents to the Buck Lake um, PTO Facebook page. Check out um, the links that Mr. Millard has shared with us and see what you might like to add. Those cooler weathers, you might want to add a hoodie, one of those new t-shirts. One of the masks. I think I'm going to go on and order one of the gray ones. We've got our BLE magnets right here. Ms. Young actually keeps this in her office. But you might want to have one in your room. You might want to have one on your car. It's magnetic so it won't damage um, like our old stickers would. And so check it out. See what you would like to add. We have lots of masks. You could have one for every day um, of the week. So we can't wait to see what you pick up. We can't wait to have our first spirit day as well. So that's all for today, Bobcats. 
you know what you're going to do. You're going to remember to purr. You're going to be prepared. You're going to be upstanding. That's making good choices for yourself. You're going to be responsible. That's helping not only maybe your teachers, your classmates, your um, family. That's picking up after yourself. And you're going to be respectful. We know all about being respectful. That's using our kind manners. We are going to, when somebody asks us to do something, we're going to use our yes ma'ams and no ma'ams and yes sirs and yes um, no sirs with them. And so you're going to do all of those things. I just know it. So in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Have a great weekend to all of our Bobcats. <laughs>